okay, this is not where I wanted to be. <laughs> this is a bad way to start this thing. <laughs> oh, why did I stop the episode right there? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> that was literally the most, like, under duress situation I could have slapped myself into to start an episode. I, I, go, I, I go back in time to slap my, my former self on the wrist to, uh, you know, for doing that piece of shit move. <laughs> but welcome back to what I am assuming is the final episode of Let's Play Siphon Filter 2, and if I remember correctly, we got struck by a van right here, and I'm not trying to have it happen again. Oh, there it is. Alright, here we go! Oh! We're good! We're good! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> that guy's got some aim, man. That was amazing. That guy really put one right square in my dome. So basically... Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I should not have to shoot that many bullets to kill these guys, by the way. Like, like, are these just, like, am I am I being punked right now? Did Ashton Kutcher, like, find me in this game and replace all my bullets with, like, frozen peas or something? <laughs> Does that explain why it takes, like, 30 bullets to kill a standard person? Or is there... Is there something else at play here? Like, are these guys just wearing, like, these crazy Kevlar-infused suits or something? <laughs> they just make bullets just bounce off of them? There's too many of them holed up in that landing. I'll smoke them out while you finish them off. Do it. Oh, good. Nothing quite like pest control for terrorists. Hooray! Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many people! That is not what I had in mind at all! Oh no! That guy had a... Okay, jeez. Alright, let's let's just calm down for a second. Split up. I'll take the stairs, you try the ramps. Radio if you find Stevens. Got it. Okay. I apologize for raping your ears with, with, my, uh, with my screaming right there. But who would give these guys control of M79s? In a in an enclosed space like this, are they fucking crazy? I mean, nobody said they were the smartest dudes in the world, but that's just like <laughs> that's just like a full-on death wish. That was way too much. I mean, I'm totally gonna use it because I don't really care. And uh, you know, there there's a little more space in in here, and uh, I don't really feel bad about it. So you know what? If that's how it's gonna go, that's how it's gonna go. But do these these like these suits of theirs like it seems like these guys are able to deflect more bullets than the average people should be able to you know what I'm saying like I feel like if you get shot by by any gun it should not take 20 plus bullets to take you down like you could you could have given the people that were like that were guarding Osama bin Laden given them those suits and our guys may not have <laughs> been able to bring him down with how many bullets they would have had to have sprayed out in order to pull off the job, you know? I mean, who knows? I guess, I guess if you shoot him in the head, it doesn't really matter what type of armor, you know, they're they're bolstering, but still, it's ridiculous, man. This is fucking crazy. So I, I had, uh, by the way, I had left my timer on, which explains why my battery had been draining so much over the last couple of days. I forgot to turn my timer off on my phone from the last time that I had filmed something, and I looked at it right as I was getting ready to, to uh, record this thing, and I kid you not, it was sitting at like 47 hours. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, don't think you're hiding from me. That took a lot of bullets. A little bit more than it probably should have, but that's fine. Ah, there he is. Yes, yes. Is there somebody over here? I'll bet you there's somebody over here. There is somebody over here. I'm gonna shoot him in the foot. Oh my god! <laughs> His toes are nothing anymore. <laughs> that was awful. I almost feel bad for that guy. For just destroying one of his, uh... For destroying one of his perfectly good pairs of keds. But that's fine. That's, uh, that's not... It's not my, uh... Not my thing. Okay, that was close. <laughs> what is happening? Just hit him! What is going on? Just shoot the man and kill him! <laughs> Damn you, Logan! <laughs> How did she miss him that many times? That you is don't amazing. Kill me, Logan. I'm still useful to you. You think you know what you're involved in? You have no idea. He looks like the Joker you right now. Me, Logan. Do you want to finish him off, Gabe? Or of course can I? I do. 
Oh, I wanted to light him on fire super bad. I guess I'll just have to cut his throat instead. <laughs> oh, perfect. You're too late. The vaccine? She's dead. You're wrong, Stevens. I have the vaccine. I've saved my partner. And you're just another dead agent. Oh, my face is in your blood pool. Well, How it. iconic. The end of the agency. Somehow I doubt it. Come on. Let's get this vaccine to Leon. What the hell? Who started the chopper? Jane, look out! Teresa! Ugh. Just made that a little too dramatic, I think. Cave. You can't hurt me. Chance. You don't sound surprised. I'm not. All the time in Colorado, the agency seemed to know what I was doing before I did. Our route down the mountain, my direction on the highway, the train, and the labs. You were dressed in a hospital gown so they could lock me up with you in case the drugs didn't work. No secrets from old friends. When the transport plane arrived, I sent you up to secure it, and Leon got captured. You turned her over to them. I told them where she was and secured the test subject for transport. Just doing my job, Logan. That's all. My job. Your job? Men under your command trusted you with their lives. By eliminating the expendable target in the line of duty as per my orders. I know the rhetoric. It doesn't change what you are. What we are, Logan. How many men did you kill to get here? All of them, they were just doing their job. Did they deserve to die? The I'm side. just doing what I was trained to do. Yeah, so am I. Enough of this. Get that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> and now Siphon Filter has turned into a fighting game. Let's dance! Okay. Oh boy, so it was Chance the whole time. Yes, the man who was quote-unquote helping us from the very beginning. The guy that we got to, you know, go fight in the tunnels in the dark with, he totally screwed us over. And now we have one chance to kill Chance. Ah, uh, the irony in the name, you know? But, so this is, now Now I've kind of come out of the ether of not remembering what to do, and this is one thing that I do know how to do, but this level is such a pain in the ass. It can either be super easy, or just hard as shit, and I'll show you exactly why. Here we go. Time to end the whole thing at the top of the Sykes parking garage on September 13th at 10 p.m. Teresa is dead, killed by Chance, and instead of me helping her, <laughs> I just decided to walk around in circles with my gun pointed at Chance and not shooting him in the head. But whatever. Who has secretly been an agency operative all along. He's completely covered in high-impact Kevlar armor. Even grenades won't pierce it. But his head is exposed, so you could totally just shoot him in the head right now, but you've only got one goal now. Eliminate Chance. Unfortunately, his head is is not exposed anymore. He, he was at least smart enough, and the game at least made enough sense to make him cover his head so that it, there wasn't a giant hole in the plot. Too bad about Teresa. Looks like you did as good a job saving her as you did with Leon. Oh, oh, that one digs down deep. Oh, I'm gonna kill you double now. Okay, okay, jeez, give it a rest, man. My God. Okay, so this is how this this is how this has to happen. The only the only thing that we can do that will do any amount of damage to him at all is this shotgun, this uh, this automatic shotgun that uh, that Therese has been playing around with this whole time. And we gotta blow him into the old propeller of the back of that helicopter, and we gotta do it with limited bullets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. We got him. Oh, we got him the first try! Oh, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Chopped into a nice pile of cold cuts. And now it's sad. Teresa, He's like, I wish I would have helped you. I'm sorry. I wish I wouldn't have, you know, just left you there to die instead of trying to avenge you by not shooting him directly in the face right away. allegedly had terrorist dealings that far surpassed those of the Iran-Contra affair during the Reagan presidency. We go live now to Secretary of State Vince Haddon. The President has ordered a full investigation of this so-called black box agency and has vowed to fully cooperate with congressional authorities. Rest assured that we will get to the bottom of this. I can answer no more questions at this time. And now a story from northern <coughs> China. Where I can answer no more questions because I'm totally part of the it. Province of she was only 25. 
Looked a lot older she than that when she was gone. only 25. She'd be alive today if we hadn't dragged her into Teresa this. died the way she lived, doing what she believed in. In any case, you could hardly have stopped her. No one could. She gave her life for mine. How can I live with that? The same way I will. <laughs> by doing it. By surviving. By not giving up. By fighting for what you believe in. It's not over yet. No, my friends, it is not over yet. But that is how this one ends, in a fairly somber way. I mean, Leon is now alive, we got we got her the vaccine, but Teresa is the price, and it's it's quite the bummer. However, that guy's last name is Boomhauer! Oh my god, I'm a dang old fucking... <laughs> I didn't realize that somebody from the King of the Hill staff was in here. Uh, but with that said, my friends, oh, Chuck Dowd, you genius man, you. That is how it ends. A pretty, uh, pretty crazy way to end that thing. I mean, you find out that Chance has been a backstabbing bastard the whole time, and that, uh, and that he shoots Teresa right in front of you, and then you get your, you exact your revenge on him by, you know, shooting him right square in his armor and having him just chopped to pieces to be later sold at a Japanese restaurant as human sushi. And, uh, dude, it was awesome. It's a, it's a fun game. I, I, I still personally think that the first one was better, but this one's good. This one's definitely very good. Um, I'm fairly kind of in the gray on, on Siphon Filter 3. I, I, I have played it significantly less than the two of these, uh, but you bet your ass, you bet your ass I'm going to play the third one. It took me, you know, five years to get around to finishing this one, but I can guarantee you it will not take me five years to get around to doing the other one, so it's going to be rad. But with that said, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for uh, for stopping by and watching this series, and uh, next time around, we're going to take on the third one. I don't know exactly when, but I will. And I think there's a little something-something at the end of this, too, if I remember correctly. Sir, we have them. You want us to move in? No, I want your men out of here now. Yes, sir. We will finish this operation another day. When the administration falls as the Secretary of State, you will become president. We could have ended it here. Perhaps. But I am not finished with him yet. I have something else in mind for Gabriel Logan. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Ah, yes. And with that said, my friends, we're going to pull this one to a close. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play stuff, it'll be a new game. But it'll be just as fun. So until then, my friends, thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. And goodbye. Does it take us back to the main screen? I believe that it does. Bye, everybody.